Well, hello, Pray and Share Warriors. How are y'all doing tonight? Oh, this is way... I just don't know how this gets like this. Okay. I don't remember doing anything at the computer today. All right. Well, anyway, I want to talk to you about God's protection. And I want to share with you a personal testimony from this morning at around 4. And I want to share with you some things that I've read today that have backed up God's protection. So sorry, I just sneezed a while ago. I didn't take my allergy medicine today. I didn't take my medicine that I'm supposed to take today. And uh, I hope I'm not going to have some allergy problems. But I will say this. I've been like the uh, Energizer Bunny. I've gotten a lot done. I've cleaned my kitchen uh, mostly. I'm going to work on it some more this week. But it is my room that I'm doing this week. is my kitchen and probably my dining room. They're so close together. I'll probably do them all this week. But I'm doing a room a week until I get things out of my house that we don't use. That don't belong here. It need to be in the trash or it need to be given away. Anyway, that's my goal for, I guess, how many rooms do we have in this house? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I guess for eight weeks. For eight weeks, that's what my plan is to get my house in order. Okay, well. I hope you had an awesome, awesome, awesome day today. I did. I was really busy. Cleaned up my kitchen. Changed the sheets on my bed. I mean, I have been busy today. But that's good. That's good. I like to be busy. Alright, well, I want to talk to you about the protection of God. But I want us to jump into prayer first. And I don't think I'm going to get on my knees because my hip is bothering me tonight from doing all the standing while I was cleaning. I hear my child squealing in there. He's watching uh, Oscar's Oasis. God, we just come to you and we are so thankful, God, that you do protect us. You do care for us and you love us, God. And when we cry out for protection, you are always there to send that protection to us. God, you protect us in so many ways. Sometimes with unanswered prayer, it's a protection. So God, as we delve into this in Psalm 91, God, just uh, just help us. And God, I just, I just read about a man a while ago that has stage four cancer, very young, very young. Um, child of yours, God, I just pray for healing for this man and that you would be with his family. I pray for healing for my friends that are sick. I pray, God, that you would open the eyes and the ears of the lost, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they can be saved. I pray for the prodigals to come home. I pray for... Um, the um all the disasters god i just pray for you to meet these people's needs and i pray for all the people that have lost loved ones god i just pray that you would give them peace comfort and strength and that they would feel your presence every day god and in jesus name we pray amen okay so um <clears throat> on youtube i have a have a rain cloud over my head. I'll probably turn it off in a minute. But anyway, uh, Facebook doesn't have these neat little things that you can put, you know, like images and stuff that you can put with your videos. So this morning, <clears throat> this, um, this was my devotional, Jesus Always. And it's actually talking about um, the love, the love of God. 
It says, Nothing in all creation can separate you from my love. Pause and ponder what an astonishing promise this is. You live in a world where separations abound. Wives from husbands, children from parents, friends from friends, childhood dreams from adult realities. But there is one terrible separation you will never have to face. Isolation from my loving presence. And I want you to cling to me with tenacious confidence. This gives you strength to cope with the uncertainties of living in such a broken, unstable world. Anxious thoughts can assault your mind and fill you with fear if you forget my love will never fail you. When you find yourself feeling afraid, grasp my hand in a childlike trust. Rest in the protection of my presence and remember that perfect love drives out fear. The greatest wealth on earth is minuscule compared to the riches of my boundless love. Yet this is my free gift to all who follow me. How priceless is my unfailing love. So God's love, the love of Jesus, is unfailing. And he wants us to rest in his protection. And so what does that mean to you? Well, let me tell you about what happened this morning at 4 o'clock. 4-ish. Before I went to bed, I checked the radar because I knew that we were going to be having a storm, but the radar said it was going to hit about 5. So I was thinking, man, I can get some sleep in until then. So I was woken up abruptly at 4-ish with the strongest winds and rain hitting our house and uh, lightning and everything. I came in here and unplugged my computer because I don't want it to get fried. And uh, it's on a surge protector, but you know, it's just easier to unplug it and then you don't have to worry about it. So I got my phone and I looked and I looked at the storm and we were under a thunderstorm warning at around four. And so I go, well, that's not good. And then I read what it was, high winds, hail, damaging winds, possible tornadoes, and I go, well, that's really not good. I really don't like any of those things. Those are not pleasant to me, especially in the mornings early when I want to sleep. And so I go, well, let's look at the radar. So I looked at the radar, and we were in the middle of this storm. And so it was like in maybe 30 minutes, it would be all the way through. So I just started praying. I said, God, please protect us. God, please protect us. And uh, I just laid there for a little while and I just felt this peace. And after a little while, I fell back asleep and I woke up this morning and the storm was gone. But you know, God wants us to rely on Him. He wants us to ask for that peace. I'm removing the storm from my other video. Okay, no storm anymore. So He wants us to do that. He wants us to fully rely on Him, to trust Him, to take His hand when we're scared, to um, let Him be, you know, God, let Him be that protector. So I also found a song that I really like. I listened to this song today for the first time by Shane and Shane. Um, I don't listen to Shane and Shane very much. My daughter used to listen to Shane and Shane when she was younger, but I really like this song. It's called Psalm 91 and it's called On Eagle's Wings. And uh, so this is what I wrote about it. And it's it's on my site if you want to go listen to it later. I'm going to see if I have any battery on this. Oh, 14%. So I can get my music going. Wow, that 
was really slow. Okay, so I love this song in Message by Shane and Shane. This is the first time I have heard it, but it is so calming with scriptures from Psalm 91 as lyrics. I woke up abruptly this morning thinking at four-ish when the first thunderstorm morning of spring hit. My greatest fear is tornadoes. It always has been, so this is where my mind goes in a thunderstorm. I looked at my phone to see how serious it was. It said it was serious, but I looked at the radar and we were in the middle of the storm. I'm sorry, I already told you that. I started praying, God protect us, and filled with peace, went back to sleep. I woke up thinking about the protection that He gives us daily. I found this song and it is so calming to me with the scriptures from Psalm 91. Some call this the 911 scripture. Next time a storm hits, I'm going to find this song. God does not want us to fear, but to have faith in Him. God is our refuge. He is our protector forever. I think we forget that sometimes. He is always protecting us. Sometimes we don't get what we pray for out of protection. He cares for us and always will. We are His treasures that He created for His plans and purposes. He loves us so much and wants the very best for us all. He sent, us one, he sent His one and only Son to die for every one of us so we could receive salvation. Is Jesus your Savior today? If not, call upon the name of Jesus and be saved now. Jesus is the only path to heaven in forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants none to perish. John 3, 16 through 21. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. Okay, so that... I mean, that is my testimony of this morning early, is that I called out to God for protection, and He gave us protection, because that's who He is, and that's how He is. Okay, so let's look up Psalm 91, and let's read it. It's not too terribly long. Oh. I was hot in here last night. Tonight I'm cold. I'm having to turn my fan off. There is no happy medium. Okay, so uh, Psalm 91 says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, and from the noisome pestilence he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust his truth shall be thy shield and buckler thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night which that was terror for me <laughs> nor by the arrow that flieth by day nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness nor for the destruction that wasteth at noon a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in, the, in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, and the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample, trample under feet. Shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, Therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. 
With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. So, you know, God wants to protect us. He wants to cover us under his wings. He wants to be that protection for us. And I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful that he's our protector. You know, and sometimes um, in spiritual warfare, the angels are protecting us. We can't see them. We can't see. We can't see spiritual warfare. I don't think I would want to see spiritual warfare because I would not want to see the demons. I think I might like to see the angels, but I think I'd probably be flat on my face because... Everybody else in the Bible that came in contact with an angel was flat on their face because they're just so glorious and um, so holy and pure. Okay, well that is what I wanted to talk about was protection of God. So hey my friend Josie, do you have any scriptures that you like about God's protection that you can think of? may flip through here and see if I can find some more. I know that Psalm is full of God's protection. Okay, well I don't I don't know. I'm not going to keep flipping through there. So that's like three things about protection and then I talked to God about it too today because I was very thankful. I was very thankful that I could just go right to sleep and not have to worry. Um, I wrote on here, I, do, I write myself notes in the mornings when I do my quiet time. I put, kitchen is my target today. So I did. I did my kitchen. It's not completely done, but I walked in there a while ago and I go, whose kitchen is this? Because things were put away, you know, that were on the cabinets that, you know, just kind of sit there. And so I put a lot of things away. I threw some things away that were on the, on the countertops. Okay. Good morning, God. Good morning, child. I brought you a new day of mercies and blessings, child. New opportunities to share my truths and the gospel of Jesus, too. A new day, child, to organize also. I said, thank you, God, for a new day of mercies and blessings. New opportunities to share your truths and the gospel of Jesus. A new day to organize, too. My target is my kitchen and dining room. I guess my dining room will be my target tomorrow. I ran out of energy. I said, thank you for your protection this morning. Early in my time of fear and concern, God, I felt peace after I prayed and went back to sleep. I think we take your protection for granted, God. And he said, child, my children and those that are not my children have no idea of the level of protection I give in so many ways, physically, but mostly spiritually. The war that rages spiritually is about protection, protecting the ones that are mine and sealed by me and the ones that are to be, also the ones that could be. My protection is going on 24 seven day and night. I protect all because I love all and care for all, child. My protection for my children on earth will end when they are with us. There is no need for protection in heaven. There is only love, peace, and joy in a land of perfection. Many things and events are taking place this week. To reveal truth to many, their eyes and ears will be opened. A great revival is coming, and then Jesus comes. The harvest is ripe and ready, child. Keep working. Keep sharing my truth in the gospel of Jesus. Keep listening to my messengers of truth only. Let the Holy Spirit help you to discern truth from lies. This will be a busy week, so keep up, but also focus on me too. Keep walking with Jesus and keep looking up too. 
And I said, I see all that you are saying, God. I hear it all too. I feel the protection through spiritual warfare. Help me to rest in you and not walk in fear in these spring storms. Because this is just the beginning of the spring storms. And you know, some people, it doesn't even like phase them. Oh, it's a storm. Oh, it could be a tornado. Oh, well, that's up to God. Well, I have a fear of tornadoes because I have dreamed about being in tornadoes before. And I saw a tornado when I was a little girl, but it was way off. It wasn't, you know, it didn't hit our house or anything. And so I grew up also in a mobile home. So a lot of times in the middle of the night, we had to evacuate. And we would go and get in our car and go under an um, overpass. So I think that's where my fear comes. It's not that I don't trust God. I fully trust God. But it's just a deep-seated fear that whenever I see that we're under a tornado warning or a thunderstorm warning, I get fearful. So I'm asking God to help me through these spring storms because I love spring, but I hate these storms. I absolutely hate them because everything's going great and it's afternoon, it's been a nice warm day, it's been beautiful, and then the storms will roll in. But you know what? God will protect us. We have to ask for that protection. We do. He wants He wants to know our needs. Even though He knows our needs, He knows my mind, He knows my heart. But He wants me to express my needs to Him. He wants all of us to express our needs to Him. Okay, I put, They do scare me at times. Help me to remember that you are always protecting us. Thank you for meeting me today, for protecting us, and for protecting us early this morning. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Give my mama and daddy a hug, God. I love you too, my child. Now go be obedient to me in all that I ask. Be ready to go in an instant, child. The revival, then the rapture, then the reunion is soon. So keep working for me, child. All three will be so glorious, child. I am eager to see all of you here again and safe forever. And I said, Maranatha God, because I'm ready. So let's talk some more about protection and the ways that God protects us. He protects us physically and then he protects us protects us spiritually with the spiritual warfare that protects us, but he also protects us. We talked about prayer last night. He also protects us when he does not give us the things that we've prayed for. And then later on, like a year or two later, you go, oh wow, I am so glad that God did not answer that prayer because I would be so miserable. I thought that's what I wanted, but I most definitely did not. And so he protects us that way too. He protects us through our prayers that, you know, sometimes we don't get exactly what we prayed for. And sometimes when we pray, we get something else or we get the opposite or we do get exactly what we prayed for like today I couldn't find something you know I prayed for it and you know found it after I'd looked three or four times in that same place I prayed for it and I found it well actually it's this t-shirt I couldn't find this t-shirt I wanted to wear it and uh, I don't have a lot of green clothes and today's um, St. Patrick's Day so I wanted to wear something green that's about all I do for St. Patrick's Day so you know I hate to throw that by the wayside because I've been doing that for years so um, I did find it I had to pray though because I had looked so many times and it was in my closet where I thought that I left it when I hung it up anyway so God is so good to us and him being our protector is part of what he does for us and um, I can't think of anything else that I wanted to share. 
I think I'm a little bit tired from what I've done today. I uh, haven't been doing a lot lately because of my hip and uh, I might have overdone it today. That's okay. When I go in my kitchen and I look at it and I go, whose kitchen is this? And so I'm going to have a matching dining room tomorrow. I had to get me a drink. So if y'all can think of any other scriptures that talk about protection, then put them in the comments, please. And um, I wonder what that double picture is right there on my phone. Hmm. I don't know. They're always adding things to our phones. That might be to where I can get somebody to come and speak at the same time. Hmm okay well anyway i am i haven't been on here for very long hey josie did you have a good day and do you feel better josie can't always hear me with her phone so i am going to do god's blessing oh no i'm not i've got to do salvation first i am sleepy all right well let's do it so it's at St. Patrick's Day, and this is green. Let's do it with this. This is green. It's a fake million dollar bill. It is not real. Not real at all. Not real at all. It's hard to get this on both cameras. Not real at all. It looks real. It says the United States of America on it and it says that it's a million dollars and it says that it has serial codes on it it even has the blue stripe across it that you know a lot of our currency has but it is fake it is a fake million dollar bill And even has in God we trust on the back in a lot of ways it looks like our money but it's not so this is done by livingwaters.com and it says here is the million dollar question will you go to heaven when you die here's a quick test have you ever lied, stolen, or used God's name in vain? Jesus said, whoever looks at a woman to lust for her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If you have done these things, God sees you as a lying, thieving, blasphemous adulterer at heart. And the Bible warns that one day God will punish you in a terrible place called hell. But God is not willing that any should perish. Sinners broke God's law, and Jesus paid their fine. This means that God can legally dismiss their case. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Then Jesus rose from the dead, defeating death, Today, repent and trust Jesus, and God will give you eternal life as a free gift. Then read the Bible daily and obey it. God will never leave you. And that is livingwaters.com. That is, what is that guy's name? Ray Comfort. It's Ray Comfort. He's a street preacher. He's very good. Look him up on YouTube sometime. Okay, so let's do a little bit of a salvation prayer. We'll just do, we'll just do this one. Because if you would like to accept Jesus as your Savior, let's just do this prayer. It is not the prayer that saves you. It is the belief on Jesus. And it is admitting that you're a sinner that needs forgiveness. Um, believing that Jesus is God's one and only Son and that He came 
He came to die for all of us so that we could have eternal life. So I'm going to leave a space and um, if you want, repeat after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe that you are God's one and only Son. I believe you died on the cross for my sins, were buried for three days, and rose from the dead. I believe you ascended to heaven and are preparing a place for me. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and my life. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Clean my heart and help me to glorify you. In your name I pray. Amen. So if you said that prayer and you received Jesus as your Savior, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. You have now been saved, sealed, and sanctified by God through Jesus his Son. And so, when the rapture happens, you will be going to. And so, just like Ray Comfort said, read the Bible every day. Start in Matthew. Don't start in Genesis because you're going to get in Leviticus and you're going to quit. So, start in Matthew. Learn about Jesus. Do Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And just learn about Jesus. And then learn about the church. The church age when we have the rapture will end and the tribulation will begin. So we are looking forward to seeing Jesus in the clouds, which is called the glorious appearing of Jesus. So read the Bible every day, pray to God every day, like we talked about prayer yesterday. Today we're talking about God's protection. He will protect you. And also praise. Find some praise music, even though I didn't find any tonight because I forgot about it over here. Um, and now i got to put the thing in there again. Oh well, I'm just going to let it continue charging. Maybe I'll have a full charge tomorrow. Okay, well now I'm going to do, oh excuse me, I never did eat dinner tonight. I'm going to have to go find something to eat soon. Now I am going to do the blessing from God. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. So we all need some peace. Just remember that God will protect you. All you have to do is ask him to protect you. And he will protect you. Okay, well I think that my child is in here. He's wanting something else to watch. So, uh, I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray for my friend Josie. She's been sick and some other people. I'm going to do kind of a short prayer. Because I do a longer prayer when I do my quiet time. 
God, we just come to you, God, and we just uh, we are so thankful, God, that you will protect us, that you do protect us in so many ways. I just probably didn't even scratch the surface. I might do some more research on this tomorrow. But God, we just are so thankful and we are so grateful for everything that you do in our lives. You are our creator and our sustainer, our protector, our provider. You are our shelter, God. And God, we know that um, you love us all. You love us all the same. You love the people that aren't your children as much as you love your children. God, we just pray that many would open their hearts and their minds to the truth. <coughs> that many would open their eyes and their ears to the truth, God. <coughs> we just pray, God, mm -hmm. that... Um, I pray for Josie and uh, mm -hmm. Mr. Mike. pray for them to feel better. I pray for... Um, Josie's co-worker Maria I pray for her to heal from her fall that she had and I pray for Josie's sister also that has the same thing Josie has God I just pray for healing for them that they will just feel better and better every day and God we just pray we do pray for the lost we just pray that you would the Holy Spirit would draw them to Jesus so that they could be saved God, we pray for all the people that have lost loved ones. We just pray, God, that you would give them peace, comfort, and strength, that they would feel your presence in the, in the absence of their loved one, that they would feel your presence, God, and that they would know that their loved one is in a place where they will want no more. They will never be sick. They will never be scared. They will never have any of the things that we have here on this earth, God. It's just all love, joy, and peace, and perfection. So, God, we just praise you again. We just pray that you will help us to be bold, to share your truths, and to share the gospel of Jesus. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, well, my child is like... I gotta go and put something on for him and probably give him some food. And I just wasn't on here for very long tonight, but I would kinda like to start cutting back on my time and maybe do less scripture and shorter lessons. But it's all important. All of scripture is important. And so if you have any comments about the protection of God, then please put it in the comments and um, God bless you all and your families abundantly um, <laughs> much love I'm learning how to do this I'm not very good at it much love and cyber hugs and good night